In this tutorial, we will begin the first of two parts looking at the administration submenu uh, of the system menu located in the menu bar. Here in the menu bar, which is uh, in, in the GNOME desktop environment, which is the default desktop environment for Ubuntu Linux, there are three menus, Applications, Places, and System. In System, one of the submenus is entitled Administration, and the Administration submenu contains uh, a dozen or so uh, tools to assist with the administration of the system. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a, a look at the, at the first half dozen or so of these tools, uh, beginning with Device Manager. Now, the Device Manager tool is a graphical utility uh, that is, is intended to help the user look at various pieces and devices of the system. It's sort of similar to in Windows, right-clicking on the My Computer and going uh, to the device manager or the or the hardware properties or things like that. This basically shows all the different pieces of hardware, both high level and low level, on the system. And it can get quite detailed here, but it is a, a handy place to go to see what the Ubuntu Linux has uh, found with regards to all the different uh, pieces of, of hardware. There's also a link to the online Ubuntu device database, which uh, is intended to be a repository of information about hardware and its ability to work with Linux or, or its inability to work. Uh, so if one is having problems with particular pieces of hardware, uh, can go here and find the name of that device and go to the Ubuntu device database and see if there are any uh, posts from other users uh, with some guidance. The next item under administration is uh, keyboard indicator plugins. This is a, a, a rarely used uh, item, and uh, there are certain keyboards that can have lights and other indicators, and there may be some plugins that are available to enable or disable those options. But those things would be would be found here. Uh, the next item under administration is the keyring manager. Now, the keyring manager is a tool that can be used. It's optional, but uh, one sees this in the Macintosh operating system as well as uh, some other operating system, but it's, the idea is that it's intended to provide a place where once a user authenticates and logs into a system, the user can save other other keys and passwords and and things like that uh, all in one location and and tie them to certain applications and it's it's, it's related to to things along those lines. So. Again, it's not used too often, but um, if one wants to explore that, it is a very handy tool. The next item under administration is language support. And uh, Ubuntu, uh, being an international Linux uh, distribution, does provide a way to change the default language uh, in the system if, if one wants to, if one is has got different users that needs different, different supported languages. And... Uh, Depends on on what languages are installed. If one is is missing other languages, you can see that the the message provides instructions on how to install different languages on the system. But uh, those uh, tools are all available in uh, the language support tool located under administration. The next item is login window. This can be handy. This is a way to configure the initial login screen that is seen when first booting up Ubuntu Linux. Uh, as you can see, there are themes for that. There are lots of different things one can ch can choose to do or not choose, such as showing the actions menu, uh, defining the welcome message. There are, there are also additional options related to uh, remote login from other computers, you know, how to change the accessibility and allowing the user to change the fonts and colors, whether or not there is a sound that's played when uh, when the screen is ready. The types of security that's available, you can you can set up automatic login, which of you know is not as secure, but one can do that here. Uh, a certain amount of time can can log in, whether or not to allow the system administrator to log in or not, and then of course uh, the users that are available uh, to be able to log in uh, to the system. All of that kind of information is located in the login window preferences. The next item found under administration is networking. Networking can be uh, quite handy for folks who are having issues with networking. It is a, a place where the, the different network interfaces are found and configured. Uh, wired connections, modem connections, and, and 
wireless connections can sometimes be found here as well. Uh, there's different settings that one can set, such as the host name, the domain name, the DNS servers, things like that. One can also set different locations or uh, profiles, if you will. So one could have a, a home profile with a with a wired network and a remote profile for the wireless network for when one takes a laptop away from home. So without having to make the changes every single time, you can just select different profiles. That's all available under networking in administration. Network tools are much, much more detailed. These are really just, just system tools. This is a really a graphical front end to various command line tools that are available, such as ping, netstat, traceroute, port scan. Uh, if one is looking to do some really low level network diagnostics and other types of configuration and things, these are graphical front ends to those low level network tools that are available on the system. And then the last item uh, that we'll take a look at in this particular tutorial is uh, printing. And the printing tool is one that allows you to set up a local printer or a networked printer. If one has another Linux system with a networked printer using uh, a system called CUPS or perhaps using a system called Samba, those networked printers uh, can be found here or can be enabled here. There's ways to go in. Of course, you can just double click on the new printer icon and it will start a little a little wizard on uh, on how to add that printer. You can also detect LAN printers and you can set up printers to be shared over the network. And so that is the printer's administration tool found in the administration submenu located under the system menu in the menu bar on Ubuntu Linux. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.